Congratulations on your purchase of a Watchmaster IP Elite camera. I'm Allison with DRS. The Watchmaster IP Elite detects infrared heat and provides superior quality thermal imagery. This means you can confidently perform security and surveillance tasks in low light or no light conditions. Dark corner? No problem. Fog or bad weather? DRS has you covered. The Watchmaster IP Elite is designed to integrate seamlessly with your existing security infrastructure. Choose the method that works best for you. Plus, it's so efficient. The camera consumes less than 15 watts of power. Why is that so important? The Watchmaster IP Elite can be powered with the same Ethernet cable that streams the video and provides camera controls. If you'd like more information about the complete DRS line of thermal imagery solutions, go to www.drsinfrared.com. Keep watching, because this video will walk you through the software configuration steps needed to receive the most benefits from your new camera. Here in Module 1, you'll learn the camera setup process in detail. In Module 2, you'll learn how to optimize your thermal video images, set video storage parameters, and use video analytics to trigger specific actions. Module 3 covers the camera maintenance functions performed with the software. Now let's go to Rob in the lab for Module 1 setup. Welcome to Module 1 of the Watchmaster IP Elite configuration tutorial. Now that you have your DRS Watchmaster IP Elite camera assembled and installed, you're ready to configure the camera and explore its functions. In this module, you'll learn about camera discovery, network settings, management of user accounts, and configuring video and motion detection. Let's get started. The first step is finding the IP address of your camera. I'm using Windows 7. From the desktop, click on Start. Then click on Computer. Click Network. Here, you'll see a list of the devices that are connected to the network. Scroll down to Other Devices. You'll see the DRS Watchmaster IP Elite camera listed. Double-click on the camera icon. This opens the user interface in the default browser. You'll see the IP address assigned to the IP Elite camera by the network's DHCP server. The camera may be assigned a different IP address when used in your network. To sign in and access the camera, enter the default login credentials. Username is admin in lowercase, and the password is 1234. This will open the user interface for the DRS Watchmaster IP Elite camera in the browser window. Across the top is the main menu. Let's start with the configuration functions, which are found in Setup. Click Setup. Using the Setup menu, you can manage your network settings, enter new users, and enable certain camera settings. Let's go to Network. With its IP interface, your Watchmaster IP Elite camera can be networked with different devices in your video surveillance network. First, click TCP IP Settings. If you have DHCP in your network, you'll notice the DHCP configuration parameters, IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS server, and host name are all filled in automatically. If DHCP is not available and you're using a static configuration, you can populate these parameters manually. The host name field can also be modified with a name of your choice. Click the Save Changes button. You'll now have to log back in to access the camera. Next, click on FTP Server. An FTP server is one of the options for storing events and video files from the camera. Enter the FTP server address, port, username, and password. Edit the path to the folder of your choice. Click the Save Changes button, click the OK button, then click the Verify FTP Login button. Let's move on to the NTP time sync. You can sync the camera to a global clock to set the date and time for the camera. Let's use pool.ntp.org as an example here. You can designate a different URL if you choose a different NTP source. Click the Save Changes button. 
The next item on the network menu is Email SMTP Server. You can set up and use the email server to push alerts and notifications of specific events to an email account. Here, you can enable authentication to a specific SMTP server. Enter the username, password, email sender, SMTP server, and email too. Click the Save Changes button. Up next is the Ping Target screen. Use Ping Target to confirm that the camera is connected to the network and can get a response from another device in the network. In this case, the target is pool.ntp.org. You can change the Ping Target, leave the Ping status blank, and save changes. Click the Refresh Ping Status button and observe the Ping status as Pass or Fail. The final menu item under Network is 802.1x. The Watchmaster IP Elite is capable of 802.1x authentication. 802.1x is a standard for port-based network access control. It provides an authentication mechanism to devices wishing to attach to a network. You'll have several authentication choices listed here. Your choice will depend on the authentication type supported by your network server. Now, let's see how to set up and manage user accounts. The Accounts screen has options for adding users and designating different user classes. By default, you're logged in as an administrator. An administrator has the greatest number of privileges and has access to all the functions, including setup, maintenance, and camera features. An operator can view live video, perform video analytics and video record functions, store and manage video files. A viewer can only view the live video. Let's add a new user, Paul, as an operator. Enter the name here. Under User Class, choose Operator. Then, create a password for Paul. Re-enter the password to confirm. And click the Add User button. You can also make changes to existing users or delete them. Now that you've viewed the network menu and the accounts menu, let's look at the camera functions that can be set from here. Start with the date and time. These can be derived from the global NTP server. You can also manually enter a date and time, choose your time zone, and enable daylight savings. Click the Save Date and Time button. Let's move on to video streaming. The Watchmaster IP Elite supports both unicast and multicast video streaming. If your network is capable of multicast and you want your camera to be multicast, select Multicast Streaming. Select the H.264 bitrate and frame rate and the MJPEG quality and frame rate based on your network requirement. The last item under Camera is Motion Detection. On this screen, Select the actions to take when a motion-detected event is recorded by the camera. You saw earlier, under the Network sub-menu, how to set up the network's FTP server and the email server. Triggered events can be sent to an FTP server, an email server, or both. Select Still Image or Video. You can also save an event to a local folder. When you've made your choices, save your settings. The setup of your camera is now complete. In the next module, you'll learn how to optimize your thermal video images, set video storage parameters, and use video analytics to trigger specific actions. Visit us anytime at www.drsinfrared.com.